I'm here at the world's first dry-aged meat boutique, the brainchild of Mirko Butler, and this is no ordinary butcher's shop. Here they offer a prime selection of carefully sourced dry-aged meats, aged from 28 days to 100 and beyond. So Mirko, tell me about the process from bringing the meat from its sources to Dubai and how you store it. Can I open this? Yeah. So what is the temperature? Whoa, what is the temperature? The temperature in here is uh, at the moment 4.2 because you opened the door, but normally it's 1.5 wow. to 2 degrees. And we're running at 86% humidity. Yeah. That fridge is a laboratory and not a normal fridge. Within the first 14 days of the dry aging process, basically what happened, the muscle tissue get uh, destroyed okay. because the muscle is 70% uh, made out of water. Right. So what happened is, um, the product lose moisture, becomes uh, smaller, so contracts. But, contract, but becomes much more tender. So in the first 14 days, it reaches the um, maximum amount of tenderness. After the 14 days, we start to develop a uh, flavor, uh, a more beefy flavor, nutty flavor, funky flavor, how people <laughs> want to say. Here we are with some of your prime cuts, and I don't even know where to start. Talk me through just what we've got laid out for us here. It looks delicious. This is our some of our signature cuts. Mm -hmm. We have uh, in our boutique, most of them are standard cuts, tomahawk, porterhouse, cowboy steak, New York strip, and so on. But uh, uh, we don't stop there. We have uh, dry-aged duck, dry-aged lamb, we do dry aged Uzi, we, we dry age everything. Out of all these dishes, which is your favorite here? Uh, the porterhouse. That's a 45 days aged uh, black onyx mm -hmm. from Australia. Marbling score three. You opened this place in the middle of a pandemic. Yes. You know, COVID has affected the industry hugely. You know, how has that worked in your favor? I understood that uh, obviously restaurants were closed, steakhouses were closed. The demand of the people, the connoisseurs and so on is still the same. They want to go and have this steakhouse quality. Mm -hmm. They want to go and enjoy their meats. So um, you can do that at home. Talk to me about pricing. So give me a rough benchmark for say one kilogram of meat. A uh, kilogram of meat as an entry level, for example, if you look at this Angus Porterhouse here, um, we're looking at 70 euro per kilo, which is, I think, affordable. I can't even work out what my favorite is. This is really hard to pick. I haven't tried yours yet, the tomahawk. You haven't I'm, tried I'm saving the tomahawk, the tomahawk yet, to the huh? end. That's so, probably why. Uh, you like that one? That is so tender. That's almost melting. Yeah, you start at 30 days. That's the standard age of steak which goes in the market. Mm. But then, as uh, 45 days, um, you get a little bit more in the nutty range. Well, Mirko, the dry ager guy, thank you so much for inviting us down uh, today. I'm definitely going with your tomahawk wagyu. Marbling, My pleasure. Marbling 7 plus, 58 days. That was the winner for me.